Hello again and welcome back to the card mat. It's that little oil and water ambitious aces combination. Um, if you hadn't seen it, I'll leave the link in the description box. You can go watch the, the performance, see what it actually looks like being done, I suppose. What do you need? Well, you need four aces. Surprise, surprise. It's a four ace trick. You want to take any one of your red aces, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to put it third to the top. You're then going to take your other red ace, your other red ace, and put it in just above centre. So it's in like the top half of the packet. Don't push it all the way in. Take your ace of spades and put that a couple of cards above it. Not too close, but not too far away, because you've still got to get the other one in. And it's about four or five cards. And the last one, put that in, but make sure it doesn't go in that other ace at the top, right? So you put them three in. So they're basically all four aces are now in the top half of the packet. Then you can start off with a riffle shuffle, makes it look really convincing. So break off at least half of the packet off the top to make sure you get all the aces in it. Then just riffle it, making sure that you keep at least three cards on the top. So you get keep your red ace third from the top, if you can see what I mean. Then you say you're going to use the four aces. So you go through the packet and take them out. To yourself, obviously, because you're not going to take them all out. You go through, you come to your first ace, which should be your red one. Just up your joggy. Then you find your ace of spades, up jog that. Now a couple of cards after, just up jog any random card before you get to the ace of clubs. So they think you pulled up the four aces. You've pulled up a red one, the ace of spades, then a different card, and then the ace of clubs at the back. You close the packet up and you'll take the cards out and square them as you put the packet down. Once these are all nice and square, so there's no little flashes because you've got a, an indifferent card in the middle. Once they're all nice and square, turn them over into your other hand and then just proceed to do an Elmsley count. Don't name the aces. Just go, we've got one, two, three, four. Number four goes to the bottom, right? Number four goes in the back door. You've just shown four aces. Turn them over and put them down. Say we'll use three, uh, four cards from the top of the pile. Deal the cards down. Put the packet down. Square these up, turn it over. Now you can do um, an Elmsley count and you'll show four random cards. So when you turn them over, go straight into your Elmsley count so they don't get too much of a glimpse of the top card because they've seen that twice. And again, put that card to the bottom. No, put that card to the top, sorry. Yeah. Turn it over. Split it into two. Now you've got the ace on the top of this packet. And you want that to be in third from bottom. So you take them off. Do your little wiggle, wiggle. Put the, what was the top packet with the ace on to the bottom. Now that puts them back into the same order they were on there. The ace is now third from top. Okay. It's just a bit of a convincer to show that you've got four random cards. And don't I go on. Yes, shut up, get on with it. We'll put a random card, show one of them. We'll put an ace onto the packet. And then you just stick a random on and an ace without showing them. That comes onto the next one, doesn't it? You'll now just take the top four cards and just slide them off. Put the packet down square them up again when you turn them over you should have a red card on the front if you haven't you've done something wrong and this bit will not work you do another elmsley count to show four red card a uh, four aces but this time put it on the top turn it over put it down um no that goes to the bottom yeah i was right because you do it twice do it again but this time, just slide the top four cards off. If you want to deal them down the same way as you did on the last one, fine. Makes it look one way. But this is just adding something different into the routine. Just take them off the top. 
you flash the bottom cards as a random. They already know they're random, they've seen them before. You're going to put a random card on, you're going to put an ace on. You can show this one that it's a random card. You can't show this one because it's not an ace. You can't show the random card because that is an ace. But you can show the ace because it's an ace. And you can show the random because it's a random. And you can show the ace because it's an ace. Then you take the top four cards off once more. And again, square them up. Turn it over. Do it in Elmsley count. This time it goes on the face. Right? Not on the second one, on the third one it goes on the face. Um, so we'll try something a little bit different. Now here there's a couple, there's two ways you can do this. I'll do one and then I'll show you the other one. I'll show you the one that i done in the performance. You just deal down the four cards. So we'll just deal three cards on today. Three of them random ones. Now the ace is on the bottom. If we square that up and do whatever magic you want to, Take the card off. You can show it at that time if you want that it's an ace. But in the performance, I pulled it back. So we'll take these cards and we'll put them onto this one. And we'll do the do do and we'll get that ace to jump to the top. We'll get these cards and put them onto that one. Do the and the ace has jumped to the top. We'll put them onto the last one. Do 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 and yeah, I've got that right. And then you can show that there are three in different cards and that the four aces are actually on the table. Right. Now, how was that set up before? Um, that was third to the top, say. I yeah, think like, that comes off the path like that. You do an only count. That goes to the top. That puts it into that order. Yeah. The other way of doing it is turn the cards over, show the ace of hearts, peel off the top card, which is your indifferent one, and put it down. Peel off the next top card, show it's the ace of spades. Peel off the next top card, show it's the ace of clubs. Quick flash of the last one to show a red ace. Again, you're not mentioning what they are. You get them into that position, and then you deal three onto there, and then you do the same procedure for this one to get the ace to the top. You'll deal them onto there again, do the magic, and the ace comes up. You get them and deal them onto there. The only problem with yeah, the only problem with that, yeah, there was one there that ended up on the top. Is once you put it on there, you then got to pick them up to take the card off. And then count them onto that one. Pick them up. You get the ace to jump to the top. And you take that card off. Then you put them onto this one. Now this isn't a trickier bit on this one. Because you'll show them the ace of spades on the bottom. Put the cards back into your hand. And as you're taking that one. Now it's awkward to do because it's only a little packet is do a bottom deal to pull out the ace of spades. So you just showing them the ace of spades on the bottom. You turn it over and then you bottom deal it out and put down the ace of spades, which is a real good convincer. And now this one's got the ace of clubs on the top. So all you have to do is drop them on there. Now they think they were three in different kinds. You just dropped out. But lo and behold, the ace of clubs has risen to the top. Just a different way of ending it, if you are interested. But anyway, there we go. That's how it was done. <sighs> Finally. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Then it stuck around up until now to see what actually happened. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.